Hello there guys, my name is Jag and Dwarf and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So today we are looking at something very crucial to your fighters or your frigates or your battleships or destroyers, whatever. And being as I'm building big ships at the moment, I figured I'd show you guys sort of how these are created. Um, this is the turret I use. This is a turret that was primarily designed by Dark Lord and I've tweaked it and altered it a little bit just to suit the ships that I will be building. Um, basically, the ship was slightly offset to the one side by about one block and I've altered it a little bit just to accommodate nicely and tidy it up a little bit more so what I'll do is I'll actually I've got it set up behind me in steps on how to build this and uh, I'll show you guys how to build it so see you guys in a sec okay so these are the four sort of steps to building a turret like this now the first step is to sort of start off with a conveyor block and then have your advanced rotor sort of on top and then a angled um, conveyor tube and the settings you really want for this are you would really want them at uh, well I've got these as a hundred and a hundred for the turning axes you can increase them but I've got them set like that because of the ships I'm using I don't want them to turn too far around and destroy your own ship because I have bridges and things and um, that stick up from the ship and then the road displacement is 20 so that basically presses it as far up as possible um, away from where you're going to be placing blocks because this being as how high it is it allows you to place two blocks which means you can fully armor around that advanced road to, prote to protect it as much as possible the second step is basically you then add on to that advanced rotor that you've previously put on with the angled conveyor tube and then you add on two more conveyor blocks and add on a rotor there as well and then you also set up another angled conveyor tube and that's where your gun will sit so the settings for this are what you've actually got is on the y axis which that one is and um, what you've got is it's set to 85 so this means it will sort of be flat it isn't currently because there's a small little bug in it and it sits at minus 38 for some reason um, but basically it moves only to 85 degrees because if it went to 90 it would sort of start to collide and hit other blocks and damage itself which you don't want it to do because of course that's the gun arm and you don't want the gun to break off and snap off halfway through a firefight because <laughs> that would just be awful so what you want is your road displacement going minus 30 reason why is so everything sort of fits and sits nicely because you're going to have um, outside blocks that are going to fit around this as well so you're going to have something a bit like this coming around it and you know protecting it and whatnot so that's why and it just sort of makes it look a lot neater and tidy when you start to stick the armor on so this is the sort of third step now there's nothing really to do with the console because that's just for the rotors what we've actually got here is we've got a blast door block like the cornered one and the external corner not rather than the internal corner and we've actually put a camera on here and what the camera does is basically allows you to see the line of you know fire if the, if you say are deep within the ship and you can't really see where you're going to hit so that's just like a cool little feature and then the last step of course is to armor it up and this is sort of the final sort of stage now again it's quite exposed on the top but there's nothing really you can do about that if you want the if you want like the two sort of degrees of fire then you you're going to have you're going to need that really um so it can move upwards and of course turn left and right and whatever so this is like the best and stablest version of the design I've found I've tried a few things and I I'm, I'm going to look at doubling up on one as well to make it sort of twice the fire power and absolutely ridiculous for like a, the destroyer classes but this is, you know, the best sort of turret I've come across. And again, thank you for Dark, Dark Lord for building all of it. Again, I've just sort of redesigned the armor and things like that and made it so it's um, a bit more even either side. Of course, the turret knows itself isn't even, but, you know, it works. And it's very, very nicely designed. So that is it, guys. So with these turrets, what I would suggest is before you actually go ahead and um, place them I'd actually have like this as a separate ship like I've got there because if I go into my blueprints I've actually got one blueprint there and then a second blueprint as well that one's a bit newer than this one but um, basically what I do is I place them down rename everything because you don't want to go into your ship and notice there's like you know if we're going to K here you don't want to be noticing that there's like 
five turret X's like it is here there's you know it's, it's a bit confusing and you don't know which one you're going to be moving or which one you're going to be firing so I would rename them to like port turret 1 and then make sure the port turret X and Y and the actual cannon itself are named appropriately with the same number so then what you can do is you can actually take a copy of the ship and just go well of the actual you know thing and go take from this copy and paste and then when you place it the numbers will follow and the names will follow it's such an easy way to do it so what we'd have to do is sort of you know keep one change the information copy paste it in build around it change the information copy paste it in build around it again and that's sort of the majority of it all and again it's fully conveyed so it will reload and everything it works with a fully conveyed system on a ship so that is it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of quick little tutorial on how to sort of you know go about building these um i think what i'll do is i'll upload a copy of this world onto onto the actual um space engineers workshop and uh, before I do that, what I'll actually do is I'll put the end product here. So if I go six and take that off, boop. Actually, I won't do that. What I'll do is I will come out from this one and just place it on its own on a station, just so you guys can just take it and use it as you wish. Um, I can make it into a blueprint, but again, with blueprints, it sort of depends on whether you have the mods installed and I don't really like blueprints I only like them with the projection blocks so that is it guys and that is sort of you know the basic principle if you want this to rotate what you do have to do is convert it to a large ship rather than a station which that will be and what you will need to do is again just convert it to a ship try not to hit it or doink it and you can rotate it and move it around freely, turn it sideways, whatnot, and then just add it into your ships. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and of course subscribe for more. We're almost hitting 3K, guys, and it's, it's going to be sweet when that happens. I've got some ideas on what I can do for videos for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.